Well, today, the home where four University of Idaho students were murdered was torn down. The school says it's a step towards healing, but the families of those victims say that the home could have some key evidence inside. That's right. Fox's Chelsea Torres is live across the street from where the home stood. Chelsea. That's right. You know, the work behind me um, from the demolition, it started just before dawn this morning. We do know that demolition crews took about an hour and a half before the entire home actually collapsed. And they ended up leaving just a few hours ago. And now all that's left is just ground up dirt. We did speak to the family's attorney of Kaylee Gonclav, who says that they are frustrated that the home was torn down before trial. The families were notified just two weeks ago that the house would be demolished. And Gonclav's family says that they were hoping to keep the home forever evidence during the eventual trial. In a jury trial, um, you never know what might be um, might be valuable. And so, you know, the family feels like the house is a huge piece of evidence. It's the crime scene. You know, you don't know what's going to need it or when it's going to be needed or if it's going to be needed at all. University of Idaho says students and other community members wanted the house torn down, an important step to heal after the tragedy. A university spokesperson says they spoke to both the defense and prosecutor's office, and the school felt that they had the blessing to go through with the demolition. We did hear from the prosecutor's office that the house had been altered enough from its original state that by Idaho code, a jury would probably not be allowed to view it anyway. So we do know that the FBI was actually here a few weeks ago to take a 3D model of inside the home, and that's what they will use for the trial. However, there's still no set date for that trial. Again, all you can see now behind me is just ground up dirt, a fence, and still a small memorial with candles, pictures, and flowers. In Moscow, Idaho, Chelsea Torres, Fox 26 News. All right, Chelsea Torres, thanks for that report.